I'm I'm still getting over this, y'all. <laughs> I tweeted so much today. Did y'all see that uh, missiles were in the game still, by the way? Do you know missiles are in Splatoon 3? So we know there's a special from either game now. Yeah. I, I wouldn't care about kits that much. I acknowledge them in the analysis video that's going to go live tomorrow, but... Kits change very often before they're launched. And this is literally over a year at minimum, so it's like... I wouldn't get too notable. Source for missiles? One of the images in the Nintendo of America Twitter has them in the top left corner. I forget which one, it's there. But I have hope that a range will return. And I plan to go back to it. Obviously, while I have stuff planned, you know, things aren't finalized, but I can go over some basic plan and ideas because there are some things I've thought about, like, before the announcement. Yeah, Seeker was awful. I don't want to bring Seeker back. Are patches going to mess with mains? In this game, I don't think so. Like, the only thing they could do is nerf either of my weapons, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> I, I, I think, like, maybe crap it could get indirectly worse. I don't see anything else getting, like, worse. So, uh, my Splatoon 2 weapon pool probably isn't gonna change. Splatoon 3, however, is up for major debate. I will say right off the bat, the crossbows are cool. I do not think I will be playing them. I said the same thing about dualies, but this is a backline weapon, so it's, like, even more so. I'm not a backline. I don't see myself using the crossbows, personally. Personally, I don't see myself using the crossbow. So, we'll probably... Probably not. However, holy shit, range. I have hope for range. I have hope. I have hope. All right, for those who don't know, in Splatoon 1, range was the first weapon I, like, picked up as a main. Not the first weapon I played a lot, but, like, actually dedicated to was range blaster. And I played range in H3. In this game, I play rapid because range isn't good. But I have reason to believe, I have reason to believe that range will be usable in the third game. I don't know if it'll be great, but from what I've seen, I think there is reason to suspect range will be good in the third game. At least, like, usable. First off, I should also add, I don't think they're going to change the balance that drastically from, uh... Splatoon 2, like they did in Splatoon 1, because that didn't work out for them, and the balance of this game is really good. Like, the devs aren't doing a lot of balance changes. I doubt they will in the third game, either. I think they're uh, much more happy with it, and there's going to be a lot less drastic changes. Like, we're seeing returning specials and stuff. Like that, yeah. Banners? Banners would be cool. The devs have kind of figured out how to balance this game by now, I think. I think at first they definitely didn't, but I think now they do. I think they know what they're doing by now, for the most part. Like, even though we thought, like, they didn't care about range, but no, they just had different things for range in the third game. Like, the new, the new squid jump stuff on walls, that's a huge buff to blasters, especially range. Because it's actually a mobility option for weapons that don't have that. But the main thing is, from what I've seen on the trailer, and Kyo watched too and had a similar thing, there doesn't seem to be much jump variance anymore. Which is the main thing that both hurt the weapon and kept it from feeling fun. So, like, I think without jump RNG, the weapon, even in this game, would be solid. Now we're gonna give it, like, potentially better kits, potentially better buffs and balance, and new movement tech? Like, yeah, probably gonna be fine. Touch it! Touch it! I can't! I can't move! How did I not paint my feet? There's no way. I just get out! What the fuck? Hello? Will the crossbows be called? We don't know as far as I'm aware. Also, uh, I'm going to change up my character look. So in the first game, I just did standard inkling because there wasn't really many options. In the second game, I did octoling. Kind of kept it standard too. Just changed the eye color a bit. That's about it. Just moved from red eyes from a blue and green one because I used to have like a multicolored eye thing. 
I'm going to change it up a lot in the third game. Obviously, there's more customization, but I also want to kind of make it more unique. So, I have a commission of that out. That'll be a while, but... Bit of a new character design. Also, I do not plan to play uh, range in this game. Please don't get the wrong idea by that. I'm not going to focus range. I don't think I will play Rapid in the next game, and I've thought about that before this, and here's why. Because the main reason I enjoy Rapid is the torpedo combo it has, and the speed, because range feels slow. But A, I am willing to bet Rapid is not going to have torpedo, or if it does, it might be late. I'm not banking on that. And with range feeling better, it's the main weapon I like better anyway. So unless Rapid's, like, way better than range, I just see myself playing range over Rapid. So I think Rapid will be dead. And I think I'll go back to range. So. Obviously, not 100%. But I'd consider it very likely. Hello? Hello? I consider it very likely that I play uh, range instead of rapid. Go back to that. As for Octobrush, well, I play Octobrush in the first game. I played it in the second game. It's gone through drastic changes, and after like actually relearning it, I still like it. It's still gonna be a great pocket. So it's like, I, I sincerely doubt I stop playing Octobrush. Sincerely doubt it. I think I will probably be playing range in Octobrush. Maybe there'll be a new weapon. Maybe Brella will be fixed with latency, because I've heard about the netcode changes, but... I am not getting my hopes up for that. Explosher could be a potential with other kits, but I still don't see it fitting in with my team, so... Also, I cannot wait for Ray to be out of the fucking game! I cannot wait for there to be rain. Do you think there'll be Brella? I think they're going to keep all the main weapons. I 100% think they're going to keep every weapon. I doubt they're going to remove weapons. Like, why? Why would they remove weapons? It's so easy to port them. Because so much of this game can probably, like, port assets. It's like, especially since it's on the same console now, similar graphics. Don't get me wrong, it'll feel different, but I think it'll be very easy to add stuff in. I think Splatoon 3 will start very much in the same way this year. Octo motion controls improvement? Doubt it. Will I play H3 again? Probably not. I've tried to play H3 in this game again, and it just doesn't really feel super good for me for one reason or another. Not quite sure why, but I just don't feel it as much. Like, even range in this game is slow, and I don't think it's good enough, but I still like playing range. Like, I still enjoy it. It's just not good. MP needs to go. I don't think it needs to go. I think it should go because I think it's really hard to get MP right. And I don't... Like, I kind of still like the idea of MP, I'm gonna be honest. Like... Being able to give a weapon a buff but at the cost of gear dependency, in theory, is really good. But I think it's just executed poorly on most weapons. I do think MPU damage up should be gone. I get it's not horrible right now, but unless if they like reworked how ink resistance works, I, I don't see it being a fun mechanic. Do you think Splatoon 3 is more main weapon based? Uh, we have no idea what the specials are. So, and the main weapon, like if we assume the main weapon strengths are the same, if we assume they're the same as this game, then it completely depends on how the specials are designed. Play semi competitive I'll, I want to do a whole video to talk about specials in both games and compare design. But I really want Nintendo to be careful with the specials they port. Zuka's design is fine. We don't know enough about the fucking laser crab thing enough. And missiles is okay being ported. It's not amazing, but I'm fine with it. I'm not going to have an issue with it.
So, so far it's fine, but I want them to be careful what specials they port. I think Armor and Ray should not be in this game. I think Armor and Ray need to stay in this game. I, I don't see those specials coming back. I think they won't with Ray. Because Ray is already, like... They didn't add any more Ray weapons after six months, so I sincerely doubt they're gonna add Ray to the game. They figured out Ray was a horrible idea pretty early on. However, armor is arguably a big part of why the game balance is as good as it is, and Nintendo has already been hesitant patching it out of the game. So I really don't know if they're going to bring armor back. And to me, missiles are very similar to armor, just slightly better designed. So I consider it very unlikely. But I think there's a solid chance armor is in the game. They're going to give uh, balance patches, but that's it. And I don't think there's going to be a lot. Like, I think we'll get one relatively soon, but that's about it. I don't even think we're getting new Splatfest now that the game has been announced. I don't even think they plan to do no new Splatfest. I just think, I think, personally, this is just a theory. I think Splatoon 3 was delayed because of COVID. And so other Splatfests were announced to kind of fill the gap that was unnecessarily created. I don't think those other Splat, like they're so close to repeats too. Like I think they were intended to fill the gap caused by COVID delays. So I don't expect any more. Now that the game has been announced and things are kind of back on, like, somewhat of a schedule. Obviously, I don't know, but... What they'll do. I think Charger just has to be touched, but balancing Charger is really, really hard. But it's like, what made it fair in the first game was QR, even kind of over-nerfing it when it was in the meta. But in Splatoon 2, what keeps it balanced is the specials, but the special design needs to be changed. Like, missiles can still exist, but armor is such a huge part of counterplaying Charger. Because it's how you approach it. It's like, I don't know what they're going to do to replace that. I, my theorizing idea, I would personally like to see some kind of special that can outrange Charger, but can't kill it. Like, think about if you could shoot, like, blasts that would knock you back outside of Charger range. But all it would do is just knock the Charger around. Like, you couldn't kill them with it. But you could move it out of position and then use that to get your team in. There is no solution to Ray. Like, straight up, there isn't. The only, like... What they did now isn't a solution, it's just better than keeping Ray. Like, what they did is they just made Ray bad. Like, not even fully bad, they just, like... They just toned down the power so much that it's not as cancer. Why remove anything? Like, maps have to be read Maps are harder. Okay, listen. Weapons, you can buff and nerf and can mostly fit the balance. A map with a bad design, if you change enough, just isn't the same map. Like, you can rework a map and keep the, like, aesthetic, I guess, but there's some maps where it's like, you have to do so much to change it that there's no point. Like, port would not be port if it was a good map. There's no way to make port be a good stage and still have it look like port. Same for Walleye and Maul. Stuff like Moray, like, maybe, but even then, that's like... Can you really not change it from how it feels? And that's the hard part of it to me. Every main weapon can really be itself and not be horrible. The main thing holding back weapons is kits. Where a small balance is here. I'm overall still very happy with all this, though. I'm very pleased with how Splatoon 3 looks. Splatoon 2 is hype, but looking back, there were like 
concerns that went unnoticed. This game doesn't really have those same issues. Like, the only thing I'm worried about is a turret laser. And even then, it looks so much like a fixed Stingray thing that I don't expect it to have the same problems. I think it might not be great, but I don't think it's going to be bad. I do wonder if they'll revert some changes, like the Junior Ink Tank. But I doubt it. there'll be anything major. I need to shark more with this thing. Oh, I missed him. What subs do you want removed nerfed? Alright, I'll be honest. If Nintendo doesn't know how to fucking fix non-lethals, I want them out of the game. There's a way in which they work, and there's a way in which they can be, like, different. But holy fuck, I'm so tired of both games having issues where kits are shit because of... Oh! It has point sensor. Doomed kit! Plus, we know they can add more lethal subs with some variety with Fizzy and Torpedo. Those are both lethals. Autobomb is a new lethal. Like, we have three current bombs and three new ones. Curling bomb isn't even a lethal. That shit doesn't kill, unless you charge it, which, yeah, mm, I guess sometimes. <gasps> no, no, why panic? Best point sensor web, x Flosher. That's the only one. That's the only one that's been good in either game is fucking x -Glow. Actually, Squiffer. I forgot Squiffer. Which is weird, because I have a Squiffer, but I forgot it, anyway. What would be a good non-lethal sub? Just, uh, mine and beacon are all right. But the problem is they only work on specific types of weapons. Which is fine if Nintendo didn't give them to every short-range weapon on the fucking planet. Dapple is beacon, Sploosh is beacon, Octobrush is beacon. Stop giving short-range weapons fucking beacons. Torpedo is fine. Torpedo doesn't need to be changed. You have to use Torpedo, right? Or it just literally does nothing. I like that. Dude, I fucked this T-Tech up this match. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. Bomb. Thank you. I really hope range has burst bombs or splat bombs, though. Even Torpedo would be good, because you could combo the middle explosion. Actually, Torpedo would combo really well with Rain. A lot, of, a lot more, like, kit potential for Rain. I hope they bring Jet back, but I'm a bit worried they won't because they brought Zuka. But I think Zuka and Jet can both function, especially with the Zuka being reworked. So I hope they both exist. I don't think they will, but I hope they will. Ancient's good against- Armor's good against Jet too, but Armor helps Jet so much. Bubble Blower? Okay, I don't want Bubble Blower back. Here, or if they do, I want them to get rid of the bomb combo. Like, make sub weapons do way less damage to them. I like the bubbles, but I hate the bomb combos design. It's so shit. Everything else about them is fine. But if they're not going to remove the, like, bomb combo part of it, I really don't want them in the game. Would you be alright with armor being ported? I would live with it. I wouldn't like it. What Splatoon 1 specials do you think they'll bring back? I think Zuka and Whale and Echo were the most likely specials that we're going to bring back to this game. Zuka they did. Echo, I don't think they will because missiles are in the game. And Ray, there's another... I mean, uh, Whale, there's another special kind of like it, but maybe. I think Whale is the next most likely, especially since it's already in Splatoon 2. Just fucking gimmick. I don't think the bow is going to be better than Charger. I think it's going to be another backline weapon that Charger is better at. Like, the two things it has is the jump in the air, like the full jump, which, okay. 
And then the other thing is the multi-shot. I almost never see the multi-shot being useful, and jumping in the air is just worse than charge hold. So unless if it's like a hybrid somehow, like a close range option somehow, or if it has another property, then maybe. But from what we know right now, uh... Also, bows typically have like a larger projectile speed than chargers, like they're slower. So, I think the bow's just gonna be slower. What about the crab? I think the crab is what shoots the lasers. I am like 90% sure the crab is what shoots the lasers. I will die on this hill, I swear to god it's the crab. It's a deployable turret, and it shoots the lasers. Because we know, listen, we know the crab is a special. We know the crab is a special, because it was pasted along with all the others on Twitter. And it shoots, the lasers shoot, like, two lasers. Like, two lasers next to each other, and there's three sets of them in the trailer. The crab has three shooty thingies. Each of which could be shooting two lasers. A left, a middle, and a right one. Just like the lasers. I did see the new crossbow. I think it looks cool. I hope there's more to it than what we know. I think there probably will be. They talked about, like, having technology in it and shit. So I think maybe there'll be more to it that we don't know. They drop genders? They just don't list genders. They just have the hairstyles and shit, which is cool. I don't know why the gender listing would be a necessity in the first place. Like, what's the point? People just care about the hairstyle. They don't care what gender they're associated with. People just pick a gender in this game to get the hairstyles. That's like the only reason people actually pick a gender in this game is the hairstyles. I think the game is already delayed. I think they want to have it out by summer. I think they wanted, wanted to have it out at the end of this year, is my thought. But they couldn't. Also, summer just makes sense given the theme. Like, it's hot and dry and shit. Why not release it in the summer? Splatoons are normally released in that time anyway, so. Adds up. I see Summer being the probable release date. If I wait a bit, the RNG is not bad. I just need to wait. I need to jump, wait, shoot. And then not fuck up in this. I still enjoy this weapon. I think there's a good chance I played in the third game if it's better. The lack of jump RNG and movement text will help. I see myself as likely playing it. But for now... This is the god of this game, in terms of blasters, so. For now, we'll put a range away. But, there's hope it will come back someday, so. Only gone for now. <laughs>